One of the questions that has been uh, troubling many people over decades is when to introduce foods to children, particularly those to which children can become allergic, such as milk or egg or peanuts. There's been controversy over this, which some of the recent studies have addressed and have reassured us generally that it is safe and probably wise to introduce these foods early, as early as four to six months of age. But again, other studies have suggested that there are difficulties with that, particularly in relation to egg, that may increase the risk of egg allergy. We have looked at the Canadian birth cohort study to uh, determine the outcomes in terms of sensitization to foods, depending on when the particular food was given to the child. And so we uh, have what we believe is the first observational study that helps to complement the data that have come from some of these clinical trials. What we have reported in this recent paper are data from just over 2,000 children, 2,124 children, where we had all the data we needed to examine this particular question. And so from that uh, subset of the child study, we can reach some firm conclusions. Now, the child study is a Canadian-based longitudinal developmental study where we recruited some three and a half thousand mothers and have followed the babies from their birth up to age of five years, but particularly looking at the first year of life and the outcomes that we wanted to examine at that point. The child study gives us a great deal of information from which we can extract very important data such as what we've just reported. Parents enrolled in the child study provided information about their children's diets at 3, 6, 12, 18, and 24 months of age. For this research, we categorized the timing of introduction to cow's milk products, egg, and peanut as before 6 months of age, between 7 and 12 months of age, or avoided during the first year of life. At age 1 year, children were then skin prick tested to 10 different common allergens, including 3 food allergens, cow's milk, egg, and peanut. A positive skin prick test indicated allergic sensitization, which can be an early sign of a future food allergy. We then compared the infant's diet information to their skin prick test results to evaluate the impact of timing of food introduction on allergic sensitization. What we found from this analysis was that those children who had not been given cow's milk in the first year of life were in fact four times more likely to be sensitized to cow's milk on our skin testing. And similarly, those children who had not been given egg or peanut in the first year of life were twice as likely to be sensitized to food allergens at the age of one year. Now, this is important because food sensitization, although not a disease in itself, is on the pathway to food allergy and also to eczema, atopic dermatitis, uh, rhinitis and asthma. So early sensitization uh, is not uh, in the best interest of the child. Avoiding foods leading to early sensitization increases the risk of these other allergic conditions. We also found that many Canadian parents are delaying the introduction of potentially allergenic foods, especially egg and peanut. Only 3% of parents introduced egg to their children before six months of age, and only 1% introduced peanut. In fact, we found that 63% of parents avoided feeding, feeding peanut to their children entirely during the first year of life. These findings support new infant feeding guidelines, which promote the introduction of foods such as cow's milk products, egg, and peanut containing products between four and six months of age. We are very excited that our research was selected as an editor's choice for the journal Pediatric Allergy and Immunology. We believe that our findings are part of a larger shift in thinking away from avoidance of potentially allergenic foods to early introduction in order to reduce the risk of food allergy later on.